The second ghost was more forthcoming than the first, although she didn't actually know much. She told us her own name, Tatiana Zhirov, that she was 19 years old and that she was a bear shifter. She also told us that she didn't know anything about the other passengers who had been packed into the back of the van with her. She said she'd only just gotten to Richmond a few months ago and had started dancing at a club in Shaco Bottom. One of the men who had been coming in regularly had asked if she needed more money and offered her a job doing what she'd called a private gig for a group of friends. He hadn't been where he'd asked her to meet them. Instead, she'd been grabbed and shoved in a van, a bag put over her head. She'd had no idea where they'd taken her, other than saying it smelled stale and had a cement floor. She'd been there for a few days, and they'd brought her food and taken her to the bathroom every few hours, but she'd remained blindfolded the whole time. Early this morning, they'd loaded her and another two people, shifters, she could tell, but didn't know anything else, into the van, where there had been another two shifters already in animal form. She told Ward they'd smelled to her like dogs. As they'd rounded a corner, one or more of the others had made an escape attempt, knocking aside their guards, then opening the doors and throwing themselves out of the moving vehicle. When the van had stopped and their handlers got out, she had pulled off her blindfold and started running without bothering to look behind her. I didn't blame the poor thing. She'd heard the screaming as the other woman had been caught, and murdered, although Tatiana hadn't known that for sure. She just kept running until they caught up with her. Both women's throats had been ripped out. Given the dog's whine at the suggestion of a vampire and the type of injury, it seemed like we were looking at a vampire as our killer for all three victims. Our second ghost confirmed it, but that didn't necessarily mean we were only looking at just one. Maybe there were two murdering vampires on the loose. Or more. I really hated it when our perps were predatory arcanids. Vampires, orcs, ghouls, and shifters already had it hard enough without people's biases being confirmed when they started killing people. Of course, vamps did turn homicidal sometimes, although, to be fair, anyone could turn homicidal given the right motive, and newly turned vampires had significant bloodlust. I'd seen that for myself when I'd been an inadvertent witness to the slaughter of an orderly at St. Christopher's Arcane Hospital back in Milwaukee who hadn't been careful enough around a newly reawakened vampire. The vamp had gone straight for the throat, 